to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Today I want to talk to you guys about the best ways to optimize and get the most views on your YouTube videos. We've talked about this several times on my channel about how YouTube is changing its algorithm and how videos are showing up not just in the subscription box but also in the search bar. So here are the top ways to optimize and get the most views on your YouTube videos. The first tip to reach at least your organic reach, and organic means those that are already subscribing to you and following you, is to have a really good thumbnail because it's all really about the aesthetics of the thumbnail that kind of entice your viewer to click on that video. YouTube is a very saturated place now. There are a lot of videos that are going to end up in everybody's subscription boxes. So you kind of have to set yourself apart and have a good title, a good thumbnail, and then good SEO, which means like your tags and your description. That way you show up in search, you're, you know, clickable in the subscription box and more people will want to click and watch your video. The next few tips kind of utilize your other platforms outside of YouTube and the first one I want to talk about is Facebook. If you do have a YouTube page you should probably have like not a personal profile on Facebook but like a person's page, a fan page and when you guys do put your video posts on that fan page the best way to do it that I found is to write a caption yourself and then don't just copy and paste the link to the post uh, the pattern that I like to do is I type out the text and then I will insert the thumbnail just as like a JPEG, just like a regular picture in a post, and then I will put the URL to the YouTube channel. If you do just put the URL, your thumbnail will go, but I've found that I get a lot more views and clicks and engagement on Facebook if I put a picture separate from the URL. Just a little backstory. YouTube and Facebook are both now fighting for your lifetime and your airtime and your video. So if you put a YouTube URL in your Facebook, they don't like that. That's driving traffic away from their channel. So I found even though it's still technically driving traffic away, their systems, their search engine, it works better if you just have the type, the picture as a JPEG, and then your URL. The next platform gets a little bit complicated and that is Instagram. Instagram is kind of becoming like Facebook. They don't put the most recent pictures and stories at the top. So it's a little less useful if you're trying to promote your video that just went live. The one thing that you can do on your Instagram channel is put a live story. While the Instagram pictures themselves do not go in the most recent order, stories do go in the most recent order. So I would recommend if you are gonna put a picture, go ahead, put your picture up, let the, your fans and your followers know that you have a new video, but also, whether it's just like you live screening your computer screen or it's you live like, hey, I have a video, just let them know in your stories because I guarantee you they will see stories much quicker than they will ever see your picture. Twitter is a lot like Facebook where you wanna put your photo, like your thumbnail photo and your link separately. If you do, just put your URL. Sometimes you won't even see the picture on your Twitter. Twitter is the platform I have the least amount of experience with. I've only had my Twitter for like two months and I'm still figuring it out. But the people that I've talked to that have been used it for years to promote their videos say to put the thumbnail as a separate image and then the link to your YouTube video. By the way, shameless plug, if you're watching this and have a Twitter, go ahead and click my URL to Twitter down below. Maybe you can teach me how to use this platform. Still very, very new to it. And the last thing that I do to optimize views, at least on a weekly basis, while I'm filming this video, I'm uploading five videos a week, Monday through Friday. And what I do is on Friday, I write a newsletter. I have a mailing list and I shoot an email out to my list every Friday. It just kind of, you know, tells people not just my videos. It's not just, hey, here's my videos, bye. It's what I'm doing in life, how the week went. Like for me, my newsletter is here are the rehearsals I'm in, here are the auditions I'm in, here are the music projects I'm working on. And then in the event that you missed any of the videos, if you are interested, here, here they are. For anybody who is curious, I use MailChimp to put out my newsletter. It's a lot easier. It's just like drag and drop pictures. It saves your templates so all of my emails have the same format and structure so my followers know that it is me. I'm sending it out to them. And it's just a nice way to just send a message to your mailing list every week. Recently I've been pretty bad about it because I've been auditioning and in rehearsal and like the last thing I work on if I have to cut something is my mailing list but I try to at least once a month follow up and at the very bottom of the newsletter it'll say like blast from the past videos from this past week and then I can actually see through MailChimp who's clicked on it, who's watched what. So it's kind of cool to see what videos people are liking to go back and re-watching, which ones they aren't. So it's really a learning experience. 
But those are my five ways to optimize and get the most views on my YouTube videos. The strategy I use in my specific order goes like this. Number one, I will make sure while the video is uploading to make a really good thumbnail and have an enticing title. Not a clickbait title. The title has to be what your YouTube video is about. I'm noticing a lot of big YouTubers are panicking because their numbers are dropping. So they're making these titles that are nothing in no way related to the content of the video, which isn't helping. So for me, thumbnail first while the video is uploading. I'll have a good title. I'll make sure my tags are good. Next step, I will download that thumbnail onto my desktop so when I want to put it on Facebook or Twitter, I can just pull that right off the desktop onto that platform with my text and the URL. Then once the video is up, I'll go on my Instagram story. I don't actually ever put an Instagram picture for my uploads. I like to do them just on the story because I want my feed to just be really pretty. I'm kind of getting into that aesthetically pleasing um, Instagram feed that people are so obsessed with. I will never get to that level because I just can't. I'm trying to practice before the fall gets here. So it went Facebook, Twitter together, and then Instagram stories. And then after about an hour or two, I'll put another Instagram story, not the same style. Like if my first one was the screenshot of my desktop video went live, the next one will be like me talking or something I'm doing. It'll still reiterate there's a video live, but I try to switch it up. And then finally, every Friday, I will try to put out a newsletter to my mailing list. If you're watching this and want to be included in my mailing list, whether you actually want to follow me or just want to see how I structure my emails to make them really easy to read and user friendly, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know your email and I will be happy to add you to my mailing list. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions on other ways to optimize and get the most views on your video, leave them down below as well. If you like these kind of YouTube informational videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're watching this and you are not subscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video, or you can follow me on any of my social media platforms. As you just found out, I will update you on all of my videos there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.